Next up, what we need to do is create this both the photo grid component, which is going to show all of the photos. And then when I click through to one of them, we want to create the single component, which is going to show a single one. And we want to flip flop between the two, depending on what URL we are on. Let's go ahead and make a new file called single.js and another one called photogrid.js. And inside of that, I'm just going to take the code from main.js and paste it in. Uh, just because it's pretty much the same setup. A lot of people have nice little snippets that they can use to create this. We don't need the link, and I'm going to delete all the HTML inside of there. We're going to rename it from main to single, and we are going to return a single dash photo div with a class name of single photo. Then I go ahead and go to photo grid and do the exact same thing. We're going to take single, call it photo grid, and this is going to have a class name of photo dash grid. That just needs to line up so that the CSS will kick in. One last thing, let's just say like I'm the photo grid inside of this one and inside of the single, let's just say I'm the single. Why? Because I want to make sure that when we do routing in just a second, I'd be able to see single and photo grid. Now let's talk about routing because we're always going to be seeing this main.js. That's sort of like our parent component that we have here, but the child is going to be either single or if I click on the home page, it's going to be photo grid, right? So um, the actual switching out of this component is handled by React Router. And uh, normally what we would do is we would say something like this, this.props.children, and we would put that in there. And this.props.children is going to be populated by React Router, and that's going to change into either PhotoGrid or into single. Now, a little um, gotcha that we have right here is that we're not able to pass down props that way. Normally, if we actually had like a single component, we would have like this dot props and that would pass down all of the props, but we can't just do that when we use the this dot props that children. So what we're going to do is use react dot clone element, pass it this dot props that children. And you also want to pass it this dot props. And what that's going to do is it's going to take any props that are coming down from these parent components right here and pass them on along to either our photo or our single grid. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a save. Now that's not gonna show us really anything, it still looks like this, but if we now introduce React Router, we're going to be able to check. If we're on the home page, we see photo grid. If we click on one of them, we're going to see single. If we take a look at what we've done, you'll see, holy smokes, we got this big red cannot read property props of undefined, and that is totally okay. The reason we're actually seeing this is because we have not yet passed it any children. We go to our reductogram right here and we were to actually pass it some sort of children. So if I'm going to make that like a main tag instead, and if I just pass it like hello, a paragraph, you'll see that it will fix itself uh, and give it a refresh. You'll see it fixes itself. But because we have not yet passed it any children, uh, it's not going to work. And that's totally fine. Don't don't panic if you see it. We are going to now put up the React router part of this where React router is going to pass it either photo grid or single. I've said that a couple times now and we should be able to fix it with that.